Hello my YouTube and internet friends! I just took one of my pages out of my journal and I'm taking the back side and going to work on this one. It is kind of fitting to use this one because I'm going to work with emerald creep powders that I won in a challenge and this was the page that I did that, that I won the challenge with. So flipping it over, putting my stencil on. My name is Ilona, better known on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and WordPress as Picture for Life. My channel is all about showing you how you can do your art journaling, mixed media and crafting on a low budget. I make easy to follow process tutorial videos for art journaling and mixed media. So if you like to see more low budget mixed media and art journaling, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you know when I upload a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and I have a blog on WordPress. my black gesso because I wanted to go for a night sky. So I kind of wanted this effect, sort of a starry uh, night sky and I even cannot remember exactly how I did this so that should be fun if I remember correctly I used my mica powders what if I just only brushed it on well I couldn't find my mini mister so I need to to do it with my bigger one and I'm going to do it from a distance it's kind of too wet already oh you cannot see it but I just poured out a little bit of a, a silver and I'm gonna dry brush that over so I'm just taking a tiny no that's not working So I just only actually want the raised areas to catch this, which is kind of hard. I think I need to do that with other stuff. It would work much better. I have this intense color eye mousse. You go over the raised areas and they just show so much better. I thought I should do a scene and I have these two die cut pieces that I wanted to use. So I die cut them a few times. Did 
that gives a real beautiful um, kind of a rustic oxidized look see green in there wow just gorgeous i think i want a little bit more oh and that melts immediately Look at this. Can you see how pretty it is? Just absolutely gorgeous. Now I know I want this area to be a little lighter. I have this golden stuff here. like the light is shining here mm, that's too much can I lighten that by adding a little bit of water it starts to lighten up So you have seen me do this Eiffel Tower with the wonderful new Emerald Creek powders. They are the Boho Blends, Wrought Iron and Desert Clay. And I also got Lapis Lazuli. You remember I showed you the die cut. This is what it looked like. And then I used the Wrought Iron on it. And this is how it came out and I did sprinkle a little bit of desert clay on the top as well very pretty so that's why I did my lighter piece here because it should give light I think I want some of that golden stuff on the lantern as well so you know where the light is coming from with the green stuff you see is a little bit of the patina oxide and this one is not from the boho blends but from set after and it just added a very tiny bit and look how rusty and oxidated this looks so underneath is desert clay and just sprinkled on a little itsy bitsy patina oxide I wanted something somebody underneath my uh, lantern with an umbrella because singing in the rain if you know the movie just got out this little guy and I'm not keeping it like that I'm gonna paint it black and I have this little umbrella now I also did an umbrella with the lapis lazuli but I thought that would be too dark let's first paint this guy black the same black I can do my sides that didn't catch maybe doing a little bit distressed Since I have this starry sky, I had this package of stuff and I think I can use them just for some little added accent. I can, I can do my title there. I doubled up this uh, one three times to make it a little thicker and it's just reused cardboard. This little guy makes me think a little bit about that stem from, I think, Tim Holtz. 
the guy with the umbrella. Okay, the only thing I need is my title and then I'm done.